Hi everyone, welcome back to Yoga with Rosie. My name is Rosie and I currently have a sore neck. <laughs> so today's class is gonna be Yoga with Rosie and my husband, Jeremy. Hey. I'm gonna be behind the camera talking so you'll hear my voice, but I'm gonna be watching my husband, Jeremy, for alignment points and to kind of guide you through the poses. So a little bit different today, but it should be a good class. So let's get started. So we're going to be starting in mountain pose today. So you want to bring your feet underneath you with your ankles below your knees, below your hips. You have a nice straight spine, your shoulders are rolled back and your palms are facing forwards. If you feel comfortable to close your eyes here, you may do so. And just take some long breaths. You want to inhale deeply and try to exhale longer than your inhales. We just want to stay here for a moment to connect with our bodies, connect with the breath and feel grounded to start today's practice. If you feel more comfortable bringing one hand to your tummy and one hand to your chest, you can do so. Staying here for one more deep inhale and one more long exhale. So we're going to start by waking up the body by bringing your feet slightly more than just hip distance apart. Bring your arms up overhead and stretch your arms out to the sides slightly for Y shaped arms. And what I want you to do is to squeeze your whole body. So straighten your back slightly, straighten your back slightly. Yep. Yeah. Squeeze your arms, squeeze your back, squeeze your tummy, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your knees, squeeze your legs, squeeze every part of your body. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And what this is going to do is tell your body that you're ready to do some exercise and release. <laughs> so we're going to start off with some sun salutations. So for this, bring your feet back to hips distance apart. And with the inhale, raise your arms up above your head. With the exhale, fold forwards over your legs. With the inhale, halfway lift. So hands come up, straighten your back, look forwards and down into plank pose for the exhale. Hands come down, feet step back, and we're gonna inhale. And exhale this first time, we're going to lower the knees down and come down to a half press up. Press up into an upward facing dog or cobra. And tuck the toes and press back into a downward facing dog. We're gonna stay here for a couple of breaths. So maybe you want to find some movement, maybe you want to bend one leg and then the other leg. Maybe you want to move your hips slightly from side to side. Maybe you want to move your body forwards and backwards, pressing through your shoulders slightly differently. Or maybe you just want to find some stillness and that's perfectly okay too. Remember this is your practice and you want to do what feels best for you today. So when we feel ready, we're going to lift our heels, bend your knees and step to the front of the mat. This might be one step, it might be two steps. Once we're here, we're going to inhale, halfway lift. So pressing up and looking forwards. Exhale, forward fold and inhale up to an upward salute. Arms come up overhead, nice straight back and arms come back down to mountain pose. So we're going to work through that four more times. Feel free to watch Jeremy or go at your own rhythm. Let's go again. So inhale, raise the arms up for upward salute. Exhale, fold forwards. Relaxing the head. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plank pose. Hands come down, feet step back. Take the inhale here. And exhale, either knees half press up or chaturanga into an upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Again, we're going to be staying here for a couple of breaths. So either find some stillness or find some movement. Inhaling and exhaling, pressing through your fingertips, through your arms, through your shoulders, and also feeling the connection through your toes and your feet. Your knees can be straight or bent. This completely depends on your body on the day-to-day, -day. this might change from day-to-day. -day. 
And when you're ready, we're going to lift the heels, bend the knees and make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, looking forward. Exhale, fold forwards and inhale, upward salute. Raise the body up, raise your arms over your head and arms come down for mountain pose. Let's do that again. So inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, fold forwards, hinging at the hips. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose. Stay here for one inhale. Exhale, knees half press up or chaturanga into upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna stay here for five breaths. This might be slightly timed differently depending on how fast you breathe. So don't panic, take your time. Nice, long, deep breaths. Feel the connection with your body. Feel your body moving when you inhale and exhale. Once you've had five breaths, lift your heels, bend your knees and make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, look forwards. Exhale, fold forward and inhale, upward salute. Straighten the arms up above head and your arms come down beside you. Two more to go. When you're ready, inhale, arms above your head. Exhale, fold forwards. Halfway lift on the inhale and exhale, plank pose. Stay here for one breath and chaturanga or half press up, down into upward facing dog or cobra, open the chest, look up and exhale, downward facing dog. Again, staying here, so find some movement or find some stillness. This is your practice. Maybe you want to bend your knees. Maybe you want to bend one knee at a time. Maybe you want to try and press through your heels. Straighten in the back. Maybe sucking in your tummy slightly, see how that feels. Just find some movement and find what feels good today. When we're ready, we're going to lift the heels, bend your knees and make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, look forwards, flat back. Exhale, fold forwards. And inhale, upward salute, raise up above, up to the sky and down into mountain pose. So last time, let's do this. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank. Take a breath here. Exhale, chaturanga or half press up. Upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. From this position, notice how your body feels. You should be feeling a little bit more warmed up at the moment. Maybe your heart is racing slightly. Focus on your breath. When you feel ready, we're going to bend the knees, make our way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold and inhale, upward salute. And arms come down to mountain pose. How do you feel? Maybe place one hand on, <laughs> maybe place one hand on your chest, one hand on your tummy. Reconnect with your breath again. Maybe you can feel your heart pounding through your chest. Maybe your tummy is moving as you breathe. Maybe you want to take a bit of water like Jeremy. <laughs> Whatever you need to do today, maybe you want to pull up your leggings if you're a girl wearing leggings. Wiggling your toes, finding some movement. So we're now going to work through a half sun citation A. So I'll tell you when we're going to stop. So let's move again. So inhale, upward salute. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, straighten your back. And exhale, chatter, uh, plank pose. Now you can either go straight into a downward facing dog or you can move through your chaturanga and upward facing dog. And then we're going to meet in downward facing dog. From here, you're going to bring the weight onto your left foot and start to raise your right foot up behind you 
stretching your right leg up to the sky. And we're going to bring your right knee to your right elbow. Hold for one second, press back to the sky. Bring your right knee to your left elbow, crossing over the body and back up to the sky. And this time we're going to bring the right knee to your nose and hold for three, two, one. And step your right foot forwards in between your hands. Your right hand comes up and reaches up to the sky for a twisted lunge. Your chest opens as you reach up to the sky. If this isn't possible for you, you can also bring your right hand to your right hip. This is an alternative pose here. Or bring your right hand behind your back for more of an open chest. Coming back to the low lunge, bring your right hand back down to the floor and we're going to press up into a high lunge. So you might want to do this in stages, maybe you want to shorten your stance like Jeremy did. Power through the legs and press up into a high lunge with your arms reaching high above you. Your left leg is straight, you're on your tippy toes. Your right knee is bent, your hips are facing forwards, your body is facing forwards. And from here, we're going to move into warrior three. So this might look different for everybody. I recommend bringing your hands to your chest and starting to lift your back toes until you can lift them up off the floor, keeping your, your spine straight. Your chest is lifted, your shoulders are rolled back. There's different hand options here. You might want to have your hands in prayer. You might want to have your hands on your hips or aeroplane arms facing out behind you. Focusing on a point in front of you, finding some balance, strengthening that leg. We're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly press up and bring your left leg next to your right leg so that you're standing in a mountain pose and maybe shake your legs a little bit. Shake it off. <laughs> Come into a mountain pose. We're going to bring our weight onto the left foot and start to raise your right foot up. Now your right foot can either come to your left ankle, your right foot can come to your left calf or your left inner thigh. So wherever you are today is absolutely perfect. Your hands can either be in prayer hands, on your hips, cactus arms or above your head. So find what feels good for you today. Again, finding something on the floor to focus on finding some stillness. If you do fall over, that's fine. Just try to get back up again or cling onto a tree like Jeremy's doing. <laughs> I'm glad he's here to make it funny. And when we're ready, you can lower back down to a mountain pose. Come into the front of the mat. We're going to do another half sun A on the left side this time. So inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose. And then either go straight into downward facing dog or work through your chaturanga into an upward facing dog or cobra. And then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. From here, you're going to lift your left leg this time up to the sky. So find some balance on your right leg and bring your left knee to your left elbow. Hold for one. Press back up to the sky. Bring your left knee across to your right elbow. Hold and press back up. And then bring your left knee to your nose and hold for three, two, one. And step your left foot in between your hands. Bring your left hand up to the sky to twist your body open. Pressing through your right hand twisting your chest open. Again, you can keep your hand on your hip. You can press your hand up to the sky or you can have your hand behind your back for an extra twist in the shoulders to open your chest. Stay in here for one more breath. So deep inhale, deep exhale. Your left hand comes down to the mat and we're going to press up into a high lunge. So again, you might want to Bring your back foot closer, power up the legs. Your right leg is straight, your left leg is bent. Arms can either stay on your hips or come up above your head. In this high lunge, focusing on your breath. If 
When we feel ready, we're going to move into warrior three. So again, I recommend placing hands on your hips and slowly stepping your left, your right foot, sorry, off the floor until you come to a warrior three position. So your left leg is somewhat bent, your shoulders are back, your back is straight and your right leg is lifted up behind you. Make sure to have a flexed back foot. And again, we have the same arm options as earlier. So maybe hands in prayer, maybe hands on hip. <laughs> Jeremy tried Superman pose. <laughs> if you fall over, that's fine. Get back into the pose when you feel ready. And then we're gonna slowly bring your right leg to meet your left leg into mountain pose. Maybe shake off your legs a little bit. Shake off your arms if you want to. And we're going to move into tree pose on the opposite side. So this time, power through your right foot and your left foot can either come to meet your right ankle, your right calf or your right inner thigh. Finding what feels best today, find a spot on the floor to focus on. Hands can be on the hips, prayer hands, cactus arms or above your head or any other variation. If you want to get creative, you can do. This is your practice. We're going to stay here for a couple more breaths. If you fall over, it's fine to get back up. Take your time. And when we're ready, you can bring your left foot back down to meet your right foot and shake off your whole body. So let's shake your hands, shake your feet, shake your legs, shake your head, shake your shoulders, shake your knees, <laughs> shake your whole body. How does that feel? <laughs> so coming to the front of the mat, oh, one minute, water break for Jeremy. <laughs> if you've got some water there, make sure to grab some. And coming to the front of the mat, starting again in mountain pose so that your feet are underneath your hips. We're actually going to step back your left foot into a warrior two position. So your left foot should be pretty much parallel with the back of the mat. Your right leg should be bent and your hips this time are open. So you're not facing forward, your hips are facing the side of the mat. Your arms are T-shaped arms with your right hand out in front of you and the left hand out behind you. And this is warrior two. Let's just stay here for a couple of breaths. Just noticing the power of your legs, the power of your body. You are strong. And when we feel ready, how about you bring your right elbow down to your right knee and your left hand can either reach up to the sky or can reach over your head pointing towards the front of the mat. Or you can bring your hand on your hip otherwise as well. You want to open your chest and really stretch with that arm. Your gaze can be looking straight in front of you or maybe looking down to the floor if that's more comfortable for you. So looking down to the floor, bringing your hand down to your hip, your left hand. I'm going to press back up into warrior two again. So right knee is bent. Arms are in T-shape arms, one in front and one behind you. Let's now move into triangle pose. So straighten your right leg and start to reach forward with your right arm and then slowly come down to reach your right hand by your knee, maybe your shin, maybe your ankle, maybe the mat or even a block if you have one handy. And then your left hand can either stay on your hip or you can reach your left hand up over your head for triangle pose. You might want to find some different variations here, play with different heights. Breathing through this pose. When you're ready, maybe look down to the floor, bring your left hand to your hip and press back up into warrior two pose, uh, warrior two, yeah, pose. <laughs> 
and straighten your right leg so that you're looking towards the edge of the mat. We're going to pivot your right foot to be parallel with your left foot and we're going to move into goddess squat. So bring your hands either to your hips or to prayer hands in front of you and we're going to slowly squat down. You might want to adjust your feet, just the angles. Make sure that your feet are pointing outwards so that your knees are also pointing outwards so you don't cause any pain here with your knees. We're just going to stay here for three, two, one, and you can press back up. Place your hands on your hips, and we're going to slowly fold forwards, hinging at the hips. You're not curving your spine, you're simply hinging at your hips forwards with an open chest until your hands come down. Again, this could be a good option, a good time, sorry, to use blocks if you can't quite reach the floor. You can keep your hands below your chest. Another option here is to slowly walk your hands towards your right foot for a different stretch. Maybe you want to walk your hands to your left foot. Another thing I like to do in this pose is to come back to centre, place your right hand on the mat and open up your left arm so that your right hand, your left hand, sorry, reaches up to the sky. A spinal twist and we can do the opposite side so left hand comes down and right hand goes up to the sky and back to center now I've, I'm going to give you a couple of moments just to do something that you want to do so whether you want to twist maybe you want to walk your hands back behind you Find some movement here, some stretches that feel good. Jeremy has interlaced his fingers behind him and is stretching that way, stretching his arms over his back. Maybe that could be something you want to try. Wherever you are, we're gonna bring your hands back to your hips and come back to a standing position. We're now going to pivot your left foot so that you're facing the back of the mat and you can bend your left knee so that you're in a warrior two. So your right foot is parallel with the back of the mat. Yep, your hips are open, your chest is open. Again, we're gonna stay here just for a couple of moments, connecting with your body. Maybe close your eyes if you feel safe to do so. Feeling the power of your legs and your body holding you in this moment. And when you feel ready, you can bring your left elbow down to your left, well, your left forearm to your left thigh. And your right hand can either stay on your right hip or you can extend overhead or even reach to the back of the mat for a deep side stretch. When you feel ready, bring your right hand down to your hip, look down to the floor and press back up into warrior two position. From here, we're going to move into triangle pose. So straighten your left leg and start to reach forward with your left arm and then reach down so that your left hand comes down to your shin, maybe your ankle, maybe a block. And your left arm can either stay, and your right arm, sorry, can either stay on your hip or can come up to the sky for triangle pose. You should feel a nice stretch maybe in your legs, maybe in your hips. This might feel different for everybody. Remembering to breathe. Bring your right hand to your right hip, look down to the floor and press back up into warrior two position. So straightening your left leg and pivoting your left foot to face parallel with the right foot. We're actually going to do a movement here so that we come down into a seated position. So we're going to move through a squat. Now, if you don't want to do a squat, you can just sit on the floor and we'll meet you there. Otherwise, maybe you want to squat down onto some bricks, some blocks, sorry. But otherwise, you want to bring your stance in a little bit closer together. 
Make sure to have your feet pointing outwards so you don't hurt your knees. And you can slowly begin to squat down <clears throat> into a yoga squat. Something I like to do is to place my hands in prayer and almost press my elbows against my knees and my knees against my elbows. So you find some tension there. Making sure to have a nice straight spine, lifting chest. And when we're ready, we're going to come to a seated position on the floor. So we're going to move into staff pose. So if you extend your legs in front of you, I know that some people find this pose quite difficult. So maybe you want to have some blocks next to you. Maybe you want to bring a blanket underneath you to lift your pelvis a little bit higher. We're, really, we're trying to aim for a straight back here. What we're going to do is on the inhale, raise your arms above your head. And on the exhale, fold forwards. So this can be any amount. You can have straight legs or bent legs. I actually recommend bending your knees you still get the same stretch with bent knees. You don't need them to be straight. Keeping your chest open. You're not curving your spine. You've got a nice straight spine folding forwards. Your hands might be on your knees. Your hands might be on your shins, on your ankles, on your toes. There's no pressure here to push really far. It's more about what you want to do today. On the inhale, we're going to sit back up to a straight position. And then we're going to bring our hands behind our backs. We're going to move into a reverse plank. So your hands are on the mat with your fingers facing towards your toes. Your elbows might have a slight bend in them. So what we're going to do is press through your hands and through the balls of your feet and raise your hips to the sky for a reverse plank. Hold this for three, two, one, lower back down and come back up to a seated position. The next thing we're going to do is to bring your right foot um, so that the sole of your right foot touches the inside of either your left knee or your left thigh your left inner thigh. You can use a block here to support your right knee if that's an option for you, if you have some blocks available. And something I love to do in this pose is to actually massage my right foot. So maybe you want to start by massaging your toes. Massage the ball of your foot, your lower foot and your heel. Maybe massaging your ankle. It's nice just to have these moments of calm and these moments of self-love. When you feel ready, we're going to bring our arms beside us. Inhale, raise your arms above your head and exhale, fold over your left leg. So again, your left leg doesn't need to be straight. You can have a slight bend. Your hands might come to your knees or your shins or your ankle. Just finding the stretch here, noticing what your body feels. Where do you feel any tension? Notice that tension and with the exhale, let go of that tension and release. Maybe you want to wiggle your toes. <laughs> Maybe you want to wriggle your ankle a tiny bit. And we're going to switch sides. So come back up to seated. Extend your right leg in front of you. Bring your left leg in so that the sole of your left foot is either touching your calf, your knee or your inner thigh. And again, we're going to start off by massaging the left foot. So maybe massaging your toes massaging the ball of your left foot, the arch of your left foot and the heel, massaging your ankle, 
Give yourself a moment of self-love, self-massage. And when you feel ready, we're going to bring our arms beside us. Inhale, arms above your head. And exhale, fold over your right leg. Again, your right leg doesn't have to be straight. Your hands might come to your thigh, to your knee, your shin, your ankle maybe. Wherever it is, is absolutely perfect. Maybe you want to close your eyes. And just notice which part of your body feels any tension in this pose. Noticing that tension, let it soften when you exhale. Maybe you want to wriggle your toes. Maybe you want to move your ankle. And we're going to press back up to a seated position. This time we're going to now move into Baddha Konasana. So for Baddha Konasana, we start in a cross-legged position and then slowly bring your, the soles of your feet to touch. Now, the soles of your feet might be quite close to your body or they might be quite far away. This is gonna look different for everybody. If you have blocks or blankets, you can place them underneath your knees for support. This is also a nice place to massage your feet. If you enjoyed that and you want to do some more foot massage, go ahead and do that. And with this pose, you have three options of where you might want to be. So option one is to place your hands behind you and almost puff up your chest to arch your spine. Option two is to sit with your back straight with your hands maybe on your knees or maybe in prayer hands in front of you. And the third option is to lean forwards. So you get more of a kind of hip stretch in this pose. So none of these are better than the other ones, none of them are right or wrong. It's just a case of trying the different ones and seeing which one you want to do today. Depending on where you are, maybe you want to rock from side to side. This can sometimes enhance the stretch, can sometimes feel quite good. Remembering to focus on your breath. Focus on the inhales and the exhales. And just noticing how your body feels. When we feel ready, we're going to move into tabletop position. So bring your hands to the mat and your hands come underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips and your spine is straight. From here, we're going to move into some cat cows. So on the inhale, you'll drop your belly, gaze comes up and chest opens. On the exhale, you round your spine, look down through your legs Let's do this five more times on your own. So inhale, look up. And exhale, round the spine, look down. Four more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, noticing how your body feels, last time inhale and exhale. And when you feel ready coming to a neutral spine tabletop position. So from here, we're going to move into pigeon pose. So for me personally, I like to move my hands forward slightly. And we're gonna start off with the right leg. So if you bring your right ankle to come almost behind your left hand, and then start to lower down your pelvis. You might want to move around with your back leg. I don't know how Jeremy does this. 
<laughs> I can't do this personally. So if you want to go ahead and do what he's doing, you can do that by sitting upwards, maybe stretching your arms overhead. Otherwise, I like to lean forwards. So again, you can use your blocks here. You can either lean on your elbows on your blocks. Maybe you want to relax your head down as well. There's different variations of this pose depending on how you feel that day, honestly. The main thing with pigeon pose is not to fall onto one side or the other. So maybe move your hips from side to side until you feel like they're central and that you're not leaning too heavily on one side. If you do want to stretch your arms out in front of you for a shoulder stretch, you can do so as well. This pose is going to look different for everybody. So we're just going to stay here for a couple more moments. Focusing on your breath, on your inhales and your exhales. And when you feel ready, we're going to slowly press back up. So bring your hands to the mat and slowly press your hands up so that you, and slowly press through your hands so you come up. Press your right leg back behind you. Maybe you want to shake it out and find some movement. Move it from side to side. Maybe do some hip circles. Whatever feels good to release any tension that you might have felt during pigeon pose. And let's move on to the opposite side. So bring your hands forward again. Your left ankle almost comes behind your right wrist. And you start to lower your pelvis down. Again, if you want to do the seated version that I have no idea how Jeremy does, <laughs> go ahead and do so. Otherwise, what I like to do is to lean forwards. Now again, you can either stay upright like this with your hands pressing on the mat, or you can maybe bring your elbows down to blocks, or your elbows come down to the mat. Whatever you want to do today is perfect. This is your practice. And this might change from day to day. You might do different things on different days, depending on how you feel. So what does your body feel like doing today? Remembering to breathe. Maybe you want to stretch your arms out in front of you for a shoulder stretch. Maybe you want to move your hips from side to side so that you find the sweet spot where you're not leaning on one side or the other. And if you feel any tension here in your hips, on the exhale, just let that melt away. Focusing on your inhales and your exhales. When you feel ready, we're going to slowly press back up using your hands, press your body up and send your left leg back. Again, you might want to find some movements in terms of hip rotations, maybe stretching your leg and bending your leg just to relieve any tension that you might have felt during pigeon pose. Coming back to a tabletop position, we're going to bring your toes in together to touch. Your knees might want to come a little bit wider 
and we're going to press back into child's pose. Again, if you have blocks here or maybe a blanket, you might want to put that underneath you, under your chest and your tummy. Otherwise, there's two options. You can either have your arms out in front of you or you can bring your arms down beside you. And your forehead should be touching the mat or a block, if that's easier. And this is a nice restorative pose to calm the body. Now's a great time to have some deep inhales and long exhales. And try to make your exhales longer than your inhales. Something I like to do in this pose as well is to energetically pull your, the lower spine towards your feet whilst also pressing through your fingertips so that you get a nice stretch of your spine. Maybe you want to bring both of your hands over to the right hand side for a slight side stretch. Maybe you want to bring both of your hands over to the left hand side. Back to center. And just take a moment here for yourself. You made it onto the mat today, whether you wanted to or not. You're here and you did this practice for yourself. When you feel ready, we're going to press back up into a tabletop position and move to a lying down position. So everybody might find their own way of laying down so any way you feel comfortable and to lie on your backs so that your feet are touching the mat, both feet and your knees are bent. Your arms are down by your sides and we're actually going to press up into a bridge pose. So this is also a good time to use a block if you have one. So if you bring the block to your side we're going to press through your feet and slowly lift the lower part of your spine, curving your spine so that you're lifting vertebrae by vertebrae, pressing your hips forwards and upwards to the sky. And there's different variations of the block here. There's three levels. So you can choose which one feels best for you, keeping your feet hips distance apart, keeping your feet facing forwards. Your knees are hips distance apart. We're going to hold this for three, two, one. Lower back down and move the block out of the way. Bring your feet to the edges of the mat and your knees knock in together. And this just neutralizes your spine. So we're just going to stay here for a couple of breaths. Remembering deep inhales and long exhales. We're slowing the body down, slowing down the heart rate, slowing down the breathing. So bring your knees into your chest and then your feet into your hands. We're moving into happy baby. So I like to hold the outside of my feet and bend my elbows to bring my knees almost down to my armpits. If this isn't an option for you, you can hold onto your knees or hold onto the back of your legs. There's different options here. If you want to move from side to side for a nice lower back massage, you can do so. I know some people like to also straighten one leg and straighten the other. So find something here that feels good. 
Remembering to breathe. Maybe you want to close your eyes if you haven't done so already. When we feel ready, we're going to bring our legs back to the mat. Straighten both legs out in front of you. And this time we're going to bring your right knee into your chest. Hold on to your right knee with your left hand and your right hand can come out beside you into T-shaped arms and cross your right knee over your body to the left hand side for a gentle supine twist. Now again, this might look different for everybody. You want to try and keep both shoulders on the mat. You might want to gaze forwards or maybe gaze over your right shoulder. Remembering to breathe. Moving back to centre to swap sides. So bringing your right leg over, straightening your right leg to meet the floor. This time bring your left knee into your chest and hold your left knee with your right hand. Your left arm comes out beside you in T-shaped arms and cross your left leg over your body to the right hand side. Again, you can gaze forwards or over to the left. This pose might look different for everybody. Just do what feels best for you and your body in this moment. Remembering to breathe, keeping both shoulders on the mat. When we feel ready, moving back to neutral position. The last pose I want to do before Shavasana is banana pose. <laughs> so what I'd like you to do is to extend your arms up over your head and you want to slowly bring your, so you almost want to hold onto your left hand with your right hand and bring your left hand over to the left hand side so that you're stretching and then also bring your feet to the left hand side of the mat so your bottom <laughs> should stay in the same place but your arms and your feet and your hands should be on the left hand side corners of the mat so your body makes a banana shape It should be quite a nice side stretch for your right hand side of your body. Let's move back to centre and over to the left hand side. So this time hold on to your opposite wrist. Move your hands over to the right hand side of the mat. Your feet over to the right hand side of the mat and your body makes a banana shape. Again, remembering to breathe. This should be a nice side stretch for you. And when we feel ready, back to centre, and we're gonna move into Shavasana. So you might want to bring your feet to either edge of the mat. Your arms might want to be beside you with your palms facing upwards, or maybe downwards to feel more grounded. Or maybe you want to bring one hand to your chest and one hand to your tummy. Just feel how the earth is supporting you today in this moment. Maybe you feel grounded and calm and safe. going to relax your feet, relax your ankles, relax your lower legs and your knees, relax your upper legs and your hips, 
relaxing your lower spine, your middle spine and your upper spine. Relaxing your tummy and your chest. Relaxing your shoulders, your upper arms, your elbows and your lower arms. Relaxing your wrists, your hands and your fingers. Relaxing your neck, your forehead, your eyes, your mouth, your tongue, your jaw. Relaxing your whole body. And just take a moment here to focus on your inhales and your exhales. What part of your body moves when you inhale? What part of your body moves when you exhale? Maybe focus on which parts of your body are touching the mat. Where do you feel the pressure? Where do you feel the connection to the earth? Maybe notice where you feel your clothing. Do you feel a waistband? Do you feel a t-shirt on your body? Just start to notice how your body feels in this moment. Remembering to focus on your breathing. If other things rush into your mind, just focus on your inhales and your exhales. Maybe focus on the movement of your chest. If your mind is wandering, something I like to do is to say to myself, I am inhaling as I inhale and I am exhaling as I exhale and this just brings me more connected to my body and to my breath which calms me down and calms down the mind. So we're going to start to find some gentle movement. So maybe you want to start by wiggling one finger at a time. Just gentle movement. And then maybe all your fingers start to wiggle together. And your thumbs. Maybe you want to start wiggling your toes. Maybe you want to start rotating your wrists and your ankles. And what I invite you to do is to reach your arms up above your head for a nice big stretch. Maybe you want to have a big yawn, stretch through your toes, stretch all the way up your legs, up your torso, up your arms for a nice big stretch. And however you want to, we're going to come to a seated position. I know some people like to rock back and forth. Some people like to roll onto one side. But let's all meet in a seated position, however you feel most comfortable. I invite you to bring both hands to your chest, one hand over the other, touching your chest. And maybe think of a mantra that you can say to yourself, an affirmation. Maybe it could be, I am strong. I am worthy. I am loved. 
I'm capable. Any of these or something else that resonates more with you. And this is something you can carry with you for the whole day. Just remember that you are special. And with that being said, thank you so much for practicing with me today and Jeremy. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this class. I know it was slightly different to what I usually do, um, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload yoga classes every single Monday and other videos on Wednesdays and Fridays. Otherwise, have a wonderful rest of the day. Namaste and I will see you very soon.